What's up guys? Today is Friday. Whew. I don't know about y'all, but it's been a long week. But today is Snap On Friday. There is the man. So let's see what he's got. Come on. Get cool again. Yeah, feels good outside. Dang, would the dog get a hold of that? No. It's... <laughs> Man, I just want to know how did that even happen? <laughs> As at uh, uh, one of the shops up the road, and uh, one of the guys called me. He was on the loader moving cars around and stuff. He said, uh, "Hey," he said. The other person up here, he said, make sure you see them before you leave. I said, okay. He said, they got my impact. They got to get it fixed. I said, oh, heck, I said, what's going to happen to it? He's like, I just let him explain it to you. He said, but he's paying for it. He already knows. I said, okay. <laughs> he brought it to me like this right here. He said, here you go. And uh, I went and I grabbed it and I went, he said, no, you got to get a hold of it. I said, how oh, dang, son. How did that even? He said, he was on the forklift. And it fell off the back of the forklift. Oh. I mean, it's not very old. I mean, the nose ain't got, it's on the back of the forklift and it fell off. He said he thought that, like, they just set some junk or something up on there and it fell off and he just gonna run it over with the forklift. He sat through back tire, then it got to the, oh, the back tire slid at first, then it run over it, then the front tire run over it, and he said he turned and he's like, dang, there's some amazing impact. He said he jumped off the forklift and another one grabbed it and it was broke. He's like, that's what I just ran over. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, he's like, I'm, even, he said, I'm not even going to ask if warranty's going to cover it because I know it ain't. I said, no. No. I said, but flat rate, <laughs> I cover it, though, so we can get it fixed for you. Trigger still works, though. I said, we can get it fixed. That's going to be about 130 140 bucks. That's pretty cheap considering it's, yeah. it's done. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there ain't no patching that one back together. It's going to have to be... Uh, Hey, so just need like a uh, like the old school butterfly ratchets. You see them with the. <laughs> yeah. He just need a button right on the side. <laughs> Dang. But if y'all ever ain't never seen what the inside of one looks like, there you go. Mm. That's interesting. Snap On's new version, <laughs> new ultra compact butterfly style. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody be at. Kyle will not know what's the part number to that one. Yeah. This is a one of a kind limited edition. <laughs> Custom made. Hamilton will sell it to you. It's on, spe on special this week for $7.99.99. <laughs> Tool only. <laughs> but yeah. That's, that's the probably the most abused snap on tool I've seen. Yeah, and like I said, the bad part is, like, the, I mean, the guy ain't had it probably, not, it ain't even been a month. I mean, He's like, it don't matter to me though. He's because. Well, I'm just going to tell him this. He should have bought the 14 4 instead. <laughs> <laughs> it probably wouldn't even hurt either. Yeah. Probably like warped the handle a little tough. bit or something. He, that's the first one I ever had brought to me <laughs> in two pieces. I bet you thought, what the crap, when you went to grab it because it made the it, handle it, made came it look off like it was <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, because that's exactly how he brought it to me. It was like. <laughs> no, yeah, this way. Of course, not. Is that Lambert sound there? So I had like ten guys or nine because COVID rules. The rest of me stand outside. Nine guys on the truck, you know. <laughs> he grabbed. It. I was like, the crap. I was like, well, what did happen was. <laughs> well, what happened was I didn't run over it. Yeah. That sucks. I did have somebody run over one with a dozer one time. I bet that didn't work out too well. Did no, it? he he didn't even uh, ask about fixing that one. I think they left it, and he just wanted to know what a, another one would cost. <laughs> would flat rate cover that on the Dozier one? Yeah. How? I mean, I've never sent one in in the bag like Wouldn't that. Wouldn't you but... like to see the person's face that opens that at Snap On? I I seen some <laughs> pictures of some that been sent in before. They're like crap. Why am I have to open this box? <laughs> 
Yeah, I've seen pictures of some that have been sent in that have been burnt and shot fires and stuff, and they've swapped them out. Wow. Of course, I mean, they charge flat rate on them, but they swapped them out. Well, I know when you sent mine off, remember I sent off a red one, wasn't it? Yeah. And it came back as a green or... Something, yeah, it was a... Or, yeah, no, it would come back as green. Yeah, because thought... you ain't had no green. Yeah, everything yeah. you have has always been red. I was like, oh, well. At least you know which one was yours then. Yep. Yeah. Can't beat them. Here lately, like they... uh. I just got one back the other day. They called. I sent it off. It was over two months ago. It was an orange. And uh, they called me like within six, seven days. Like, hey, we don't have any orange. Does he want any other color? And I called him. I like, no, he said, I really want orange. All my other stuff is orange. So I called them and let them know. They was like, well, it's going to be a while until we get some orange stuff in. I said, I let him know. And uh, I called him back. And he's like, y'all got a demo? It was a... 8810 like that yeah. and I said I don't have an 8810 demo I said I got a 761 and uh, he's like I really need a, one, a demo and uh, so I mm. called snap on back and they sent me one for him to use wow mm -hmm. that's cool yeah, they see said that's this. the service you don't get at O'Reilly's no <laughs> you ain't getting that service Freight ain't gonna do that for no. you either. no they ain't gonna do that yeah they, uh, yeah, they sent me a demo for him to use and I called, I said, y'all want the demo back? They said, nah, you can keep it, be all right. Wow. I, I should have checked my bill. I'm sure that it got added on. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I didn't think about that, because now I'm sure it got added well, on. Well, I've there. heard of um, guys telling stories about their Snap-on dealer, and I have to say, my Snap-on dealer has never done this. They're like, man, I like that hat. How much is it? Oh, you can get it. They said, they look, and they added on be the bill. Be <laughs> <laughs> nah, I, I ain't never done that. To no I've I, never, ever paid for a cap or a shirt on this truck ever. Yeah. And I've got a bunch of Snap-on stuff, but I've never paid for not one single cap or shirt. For, I mean, my good customers, that I they don't. Yeah, he my, may have just slug, snuck it in there after a <laughs> left. I promise you that ain't happening. <laughs> now, all my good customers, they all know. I mean, now, I go to shops some people don't buy from me. They strictly buy Matco or Horrible Freight or Cobalt or whatever, Husky, whatever they want. And I got no problem with that, but they come on and ask for a shirt or a hat, then, I mean, they're going to pay for it, you know? $39 a cap. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> or you can pay me $15 a week. <laughs> yeah, I'm me confused because I left this one on the other day. <laughs> and uh, it was from Russell all the way to the house, so hour and 40 minutes. And that UV light that Snap-on made right there, that's the best UV light ever. Yeah. By far. What is it? CT. 761 HUV. HUV, yep. CTLUV 761. Had them backwards. CTLUV 761. I know that is the best UV light yeah, you'll we, ever spend your money on. We got the same style, and I I don't know if they're going to do them or if they're going to leave it that. We had a CTL 761 like this, but this is the CTL 861. CTLED 861. That zooms in and like a spot or a floodlight. Yeah. So I don't know if they change them like that or not. And they got well, high If they low. make that LED light any brighter, they're gonna have to put they're gonna have to put a mandatory face shield on their smoke and put their eyes Instead on. Instead of getting there. the yellow glasses with these, you're gonna get the tinted ones. <laughs> <laughs> you get like the fighter pilot, you know the face or, shield. Yeah. <laughs> What you got a box of trade in tools? No, that was a bunch of sockets I had in my drawers that uh, was either on order or uh, I didn't have time to put up. And I cleaned a bunch of them out the other day trying to. Different stuff in there. Yeah. A 5 8 3 quarter inch drive, 12 point. Four head bolts, I think, on something. And a 12 millimeter, 6 point wobble socket. I was like this socket right here. S sixty one sixteen. It's a sixteen millimeter six point. Look how thick that is. Holy cow! Joker got some sidewalls on that. Right? No clearance issues with that one. <laughs> yeah. That's got to be for head bolts. Yeah, I think it is, but I can't remember exactly what it was on. Yep, head bolts. All right. You don't have to worry about breaking that sucker. <laughs> no. That's for sure. It's heavy. What is that? Some kind of uh, wire crimping tool? This? For battery cables. Yeah. You got to place the ends. You get the copper ones. Mm -hmm. uh, 
put them in there and he hit that bad boy with a hammer. I had a fellow looking at it the other day. He was sitting over here and he was like, he asked what it was for and I thought it was for battery cables crimping the ends. And he was like, how long is it supposed to take to crimp a battery cable? I said, it's going to take a long time doing it that way, you know. I said, but I'm willing to watch Be you like, do Damn, it. Damn, fella. If you can crimp a battery cable, we'll let stay on with that. I'll give it to you. Yeah. Doing it I said, this going to take a long time doing it that way right there. I guarantee that. He may have thought it been like that spring punch thing y'all got. Well, I think, uh, I think that was what his idea was behind it. <laughs> but, yeah. Whoops. Yeah, so now she didn't put that on the vise or on the good work table. And Sometimes people have knock brain the crap farts. Out of it. I've had I, them. I don't think this is a brain fart. <laughs> they may watch this video. I don't know. I know I, we got a lot of guys that watch it. So. <laughs> don't hold that against him because it's funny. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. So did everybody else. Well, did you get the new pliers in? I have not. I did see them on the email. They're supposed to be coming, though. What the crap? They are. snap on waiting on them. I don't know. You seen the new uh, Air 3.8s impact? No. They got a new one of them coming out, too. Is it supposed to be better than the MG325? I want to see it then. They got 500 foot pounds to it. It said. All I know is that MG325 That's is a, a bad, bad dude. little dude its size and weight i got a small air compressor in the shop and i don't even have a half inch air impact i got the mg325 which mm -hmm. most of, i mean ain't no lie most of them i use battery but every now and then use that 325 and i put the adapter on it to a half inch if i need to yeah because the Man, weight of it it's fast too. yeah like fast i know pulling lug nuts off with it you better hold on because when they come off they go they, they go on yeah like they hit the concrete and well, I used that, <laughs> my 325 on the, I had to replace the rear axle on my side by side of the day, the CV boot been leaking. I just been using like grease needle and just filling the boot back up. Yeah. It was good for a few weeks, but it's been, it's starting to pop real loud now. Did you use that uh, axle boot? No, nah, I just put a new axle in it. You son of a gun. And, uh, yeah. I will, I'm not going to do that. My, mine's leaking, <laughs> but they want like 200 something dollars for that axle. And I know it don't cost over $10 for a boot if I can figure out where to buy the boots. I might just them. have to rent that tool. Yeah. If I get a boot off of eBay, I imagine. Hmm. But yeah, uh, I'd put a whole axle on it. That's what we had to do to my brothers at John Deere. That's when I decided then I want to buy one of those, yeah. those tools because it was a ridiculous i think it was almost 300 bucks for that axle the one for mine uh i called lake hill just to see and i think they said it was like 155 is it right at 170 bucks with tax and all so his is a john deere diesel oh so yeah. when you put john deere on it you know that like doubles the price then you put the word diesel in front of it and that doubles it again so now you four times regular price yeah yeah i found the same axle online the same brand that they sell which ain't even the Yamaha brand at Lake Hill online for 88 bucks, so that's wow. the route I went. Now, if I can get one for $88, I don't know that I would mess with changing that boot, because yeah. that's probably going to be a pain in the butt. But. I did see them a, a boot wrap. You take the old boot off, and you put the new boot on, it wraps around like three or four times, and then you put your uh, like clamps on there, but hmm. to me, that still seemed like it would leak sooner or later. The grease would come out. I don't know. I don't know. I don't get paid I'd to think try it if I before I'd spend three hundred dollars on one. If I had to spend three hundred, I'd had to <laughs> keep on knocking and popping until it broke. Well, see, mine ain't. Mine's just got a little hole in it, but I can see where it's starting to come out, and it's just gonna get worse. But. I ain't sure where mine was coming out at, but I know I got a bunch of little holes because I used my little grease needle. I need got one on here. Like my brother's was mm. ripped. Oh, like completely he ripped. A, but but now it didn't damage the. You know, I mean, the, the, CV, the joint. CV joint was still good, but. The boot was just tore. Now, your brother got plenty of money. He's all right. Mm -hmm. He act like he broke by seeing this truck out here. So. <laughs> <laughs> Man, we all broke in my family. What you talking about? crap. What you talking about? Oh, that's the hard handles with the gray. Yep. A lot of people may not know that. I see how it's gray instead of black. Mm -hmm. These are hard handle, and these are soft handle. Yep. I guess if he was working in the place of a bunch of uh, 
oil or germination fluid or something getting all over it all the time. He'd want the hard handle so it didn't mess the plastic up. I don't know. I mean, the rubber, I mean. Yeah, or, or you could be like the rest of the world and use tub of towels. Buy a tub of them and not worry about it. That's what I'd do. Yeah. Would you get a trade in set of full chrome socket? No, that was something that I repoed a long time ago. And, uh, had to do. needs to buy them that way you can get your money back. Yeah. Only had got to do one missing? Two. Two. You can get the 4.5s, but I don't know how. I haven't never worked on something with a 4.5. Three. Out of the damn 10, eight and a six. <laughs> the 10 definitely got to be gone. You know that. All right. I don't know if I'd even worry about replacing the six. No, I wouldn't either. I'll trade you all three of them nines for a 10. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no doubt. If I bought that set, I'd be like, what do you give me for these? You trade three nines for this one 10? You'd be like, no. You can't sell a nine. <laughs> can't give a damn nine. Nine's a good gun, but a shitty socket. <laughs> yeah. That'd be weld art pieces and nines. Yeah, somebody needs to, y'all need to, somebody contact Hamilton. Buy that set. It's been sitting here so long it's got dust on it. So we had, I did, uh, after I got off work Tuesday, I do inventory, and I found them back there. That and a few other things I forgot all about. How much will it take to buy that set with a brand new tin in it? With a brand new tin in it, the whole set, I'd do uh, 425 on it. There you go, guys. Somebody buy that set, and that way he can get his money back. Young tell he's losing weight because he's not getting to eat because he's yep. got all the money tied up in him. Repo, Repo tools, yeah. <laughs> y'all, y'all contact Hamilton, 425, and you get a neon green tray and a brand new tin. All three nines are in stock. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody be they comment on like I use nines all the time. I work on so and so and so. So I was like, well, I'm, I don't think I've ever used a nine. I've, period. Yeah, I don't think I have. I may have used a nine with I uh, stripped out a ten and beat it on there with a hammer. That might have been the only time. You know, like I ain't gonna need this socket no more. Me going, yeah, I ain't used it for up on there the whole time I've yeah. had it. So, <laughs> piss on it. Now, you know, I, I got a set of these right here, so I ain't gotta worry about that. Oh, quiz sockets. sockets. And these. Mm -hmm. I ain't never used any of that small. I ain't got none of them in my box, but I do get that set though. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Need you a breaker, boy? I got a ratchet. <laughs> I do have a breaker bar, but you know what I do? If my half inch ratchet or my half inch ratchet don't feel like it's gonna do it, I get my three quarter inch ratchet. I, I if had that don't do it, you might as well get the torch anyway. Yeah. I was like these right here. The SN twenty four C. Yeah. I mean, and we sell a lot of them. And I've got the, the, the soft grip, grip yeah. version of that one. I had a blue one up here, pearl blue. Mm. I sold it the other day. I, got, I tried to talk him into this right here. Guy wanted a breaker bar and you tried to sell him a ratchet? Yeah. Man, most snap-on dealers try to sell you a breaker bar when you need a ratchet. Yeah. I was going to try selling the ratchet because you get two in one, though. Yeah, that's true. Cause that is a breaker, a ratchet and breaker bar. These things are tough. Is. Yeah, they're tough. I mean, I ain't a lot. I mean, I replaced the little uh, animal pieces on these right here. And I replaced maybe one or two of these, but they're tough. Yeah, they're pretty tough. Because we put cheater pipes on them before. Yeah. I, I replaced one for y'all. The ears broke off, wasn't it? <laughs> it broke the handle <laughs> off of it. But now we had that. Like, since it's already done, and, and what do you call it? Uh, statute of limitations yeah. is up on <laughs> Can't we had a, about no a five-foot cheater bar on that joker <laughs> before it did break, but it is what it is. Sometimes yeah. you gotta do things to get the job done. Oh well, I'm, we couldn't get the three-quarter head in there because I did try the three-quarter, but it wouldn't fit in what we was doing. And well, that's like it well, happens. I've replaced two three-quarter inch socket kit. I mean ratchet kits before. Man, somebody they, had to really do something because them jokers yeah. is tough. Well, both of them was for the same guy. And he. Uh, I put a cheater pipe on mine before and took that big Wilton sledge and hit that cheater pipe. But, I mean, Look you at see the what gears the, on that thing. 
Yep. That's they tough, inch. man. Because, you know, <clears throat> that sledge that I got is probably a four foot handle, I guess, three yeah. foot handle at least on it. And I think it's 10 or 12 pounds, but I've hit that hit that pipe with a sledgehammer yeah. with that three quarter inch ratchet on there. Okay, so this is a one inch. I've never had to replace a one inch, but I've always had this. Well, you can see, I mean, you used to have the part number and stuff on the bag, but it stays right up here now. Okay. Well, I tell you what, that impact, I feel sorry for that little son of a gun up there. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's had a bad day. <laughs> yeah, that's the guy that owned it, he just laughed. He's like, he didn't care. He nah, didn't have to pay for nah. it. And the, the thing is, like, he bought it. He's still buying tools and they don't use them very much because he's on the loader all the time now. Yeah. He said, I don't care. He said, I'm going to give me another new one, though. <laughs> you, sell him a, you need to sell him a 14 4 he don't want none of the 14 4 He got all 18 bolt stuff. Man, he don't, don't even want an electric it. ratchet or nothing. That 14 4 the electric, the, the snap on electric ratchet and the snap on 14 4 3 8 impact. There's going to be somebody argue with me, but for the slimness, the lightness, and just the ability to put that CT761 into places, those are the best two electric tools made yep. today. And, the, uh, and I'm a, I like a bunch of different brands of tools, but the CT761, I've defended that ever since the day. I hold it up against the side of that other one well, just so you see how the the difference in the bodies this are. This is the quick change, but you can, it's the same body. Well, right there's the the other one. Get it. Well, now I said that 725. Oh, okay. But look at the difference in those. Yeah. It's about probably a third of thick. Yeah. Half a two, two thirds, maybe. I mean, but you can fit with this and with a battery and with just this, way about the same, they feel yep. like. The CT760, a lot of people was like, man, I'm going to buy one of them because you say they're that good. And yeah. everybody that's bought one has sent me a message back and been like, you're right, that's the best impact yeah, for the lightness, are. thinness, the size. I got the 761 in my box and I got one of these. I don't have a quarter because I use this. I put the uh, mm -hmm. bit adapter into a quarter and you got one right now. But, but that's why I own, well, I own four three quarters and I own one quarter inch. Yeah. That's what I've got. But I've, I've got one in every vehicle. Four three eighths. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I've got one of the, the CT761 style, but the quarter inch. Like the quick one. change yeah. truck. So, actually, I've got six total of the the body styles. Yeah, but they uh, are, they're the best in my opinion. Like mine, I, mine at the house, I thought was messing up on me the other day, and because the battery, I just bought a couple extra batteries because some of my batteries is old and mm. I mean not staying up more than about fifteen minutes at a time. So, I just threw them away and bought a couple more, and. Uh, Dang, brand new battery messing up. I was using on the impact, and that's—I mean, it didn't have no power. I mean, it wouldn't want to do anything. You know, Bill ended up—he had one of his, a brand new, and it messed up like yep, that. Yeah, sure did. Yeah. And it, uh, but that yeah, I, I got a different battery put on there, and that's going to come back to life again. I was like, that dang battery was dead. <laughs> charge it up, put it back on charge, and I mean, it Good literally said it was charged within a minute. I was like, wow, no, battery junk. So. Mm -hmm. My snap-on guy wanted that for me though. It's good to have a snap-on guy. Yeah. All right, guys. Well, I guess we're going to turn it off. I've got a couple of things I want to look at. One of them is that heated back belt down there. <laughs> he, look at him laughing. That's when you, when you know you're old and you come on a snap-on truck and the, the heated back belt's the first thing you find. <laughs> <laughs> well, laugh all you want to. Do you have a kidney stone? That's all right. I ain't, I've been lucky. I ain't had one yet. Knock on wood. Man, but, uh, I have so many kidney stones. I have at least two a month. At least two a month. My wife had one. Her, the only one she's ever had about two years ago. And she don't. I mean, I woke up in the middle of the night. She's laying on the floor down there crying, scared to death. I'm, scared me to death, you know. But her best friend, she has. It's probably like you, like one or two a month. I mean, 
everything's wrong with her all the time. But yeah. I reckon that's like my, you know, there's a lot of people that's got heart disease or yeah. something wrong with them, diabetes, something. I reckon when God made me, he just said, hey, we're going to let you have kidney stones. Because I reckon that's the <laughs> only health problem I've ever had in my life besides tore ACLs from sports. But Yeah. Buddy, let me tell you, I can pave your driveway if I save all of them. <laughs> but my wife, she, you know, she had natural childbirth, no epidural. Mine and she said, too. holy cow. She said, I do not see how you have these kidney stones like this. That's, yeah. She said, it's worse than natural childbirth. Me, I, I get a headache, and to me, headaches is the worst. I broke bones, I broke my shoulder, collarbone numerous times, and I'm not gonna lie, let me get a headache, so I'm, I'm gonna eat a bottle of Tylenol, <laughs> I hit my hand with a hammer or something, I'm gonna get me some Advil or something. I'm gonna take something to get rid of the pain. My wife don't take nothing. Like I said, she, both our kids was, was natural, because yep. she did, like, I'm not getting no epidural, you know? They ain't injecting me with champ, no poison, boy. yeah. Don't take no time off. When she had that damn kidney stone, son, she told, she said, I'm going to take anything and everything. Y'all just bring me something. <laughs> well, I'm going to tell you, and, and there may be some women watch this, and it may offend them. But if it was up to the guy to have a baby, there, there would be no people left. No, it, because he would tell his buddy, hey, man, don't do that. That shit's rough. <laughs> it's bad. And, like, he would think about what's going on there and where it's coming out of, and that would have been it. Like, yeah. the second born would have told his buddy and that would have been the end of mankind right there <laughs> like i have and, to give it to women they are yeah, way strong because yeah. they'll do it and come back for more like let's do it again yeah and then number three let's try it again yeah if that's, that's there, my wife's a whole lot tougher <laughs> than i am i ain't <laughs> even gonna lie about it man I, I love kids i love little babies and everything that, and that's why i tell everybody i'd had a dozen of them if i didn't have to deal with my wife for nine months because oh, she's crazy anyway man. you know and I tell her she knows that. Well, women's tough because I know you've been around guys that any little thing they couldn't work. You know, oh, yes. Just oh, wine, God, wine, wine. I don't think guys could un could endure what women go through when they're not pregnant. That monthly thing that goes on. Yeah. Nah, that would have been we'd have never even been thought of. Like extinction yeah, would have happened a long time ago. I tell my wife every month. I said, yeah, I said, that's God knew you. All women was able and he had to flush your system once a month to get that out. <laughs> I, and she don't like it. Every time I tell her that, pisses her off. But, you know, I mean, you got to keep them on their toes all the time. So if our snap-on dealer is not here next Friday, y'all know why. <laughs> he just exposed his wife on YouTube. <laughs> like, and ain't going to be no pushing in the pool for you, buddy. <laughs> Pushing out the door, going down the highway. <laughs> yep, he'll be missing in action. There'll be a snap on truck on Craigslist. <laughs> <laughs> Tools and truck included. Call me. I dare you. <laughs> All right, guys, we're gonna turn this thing off. Like always, thanks for watching. If you like it, hit the thumbs up. Thank y'all for hanging out with us. Check over here for merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes. And like always, if you're not subscribed, you just click that button because you never know what you're going to see or hear <laughs> on Fridays. Y'all have a good one. Catch you next time. See ya.